What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated uh, Claire. I think that's what her name is, or Cynthia. Yeah, no, you know what? It's whatever. You know, we defeated the, the gym leader right here in the Blackthorn City Gym in order to win our eighth badge. Now, there is just one little problem, and that happens to be that she refuses to uh, give us uh, the, the gym badge. Probably because, uh, yeah, she doesn't want to admit defeat. So, we're going to have to go straight into the Dragon's Den in order to prove ourselves. Now, we've proven ourselves time and time again. Really, like, literally every single time we've proven ourselves. And, huh, yeah, we're always, uh, we're, we always have to prove ourselves yet again just because, well, you know, we might be 10. We might, but we might not have muscles. Our Pokemon might have muscles. I don't know. And we're going to speed button this whole thing right here. And I don't know why I did that. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on from that. And our mother has to call us because, well, she is our mother. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. Okay. Alrighty. So, here it is, guys. We are in the Dragon's Den. This, of course, is where... A lot of uh, dragon type trainers come and uh, you know train their Pokemon to be the best they never were. And uh, well, we got our Pokemon that we're going to be uh, using. And here's one individual that wants to take on us. You, how dare you enter uninvited? Yeah, we we, we entered un in well we entered invited because well we need to prove somebody. So here we have Ace Trainer Not So Kobe Bryant taking on. Us and of course you're gonna have a uh, dragon here, so let's go right ahead and use an ice beam because, well, ice beam will usually work. That's right for the win. And there you go, Dragonair defeated. Alrighty, 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 and well, our side getting some points too. And uh, well, that is pretty much it right there for that guy. So let's go right ahead and just move on right here. Now. You're in the Dragon's Den, you're going to be needing a Pokemon that knows Whirlpool because, yes, that, that seems to be the biggest uh, thing right here. Luckily for us, we actually switched our Pokemon out. Uh, we switched one, and that was Togepi because, well, we kind of need to... Yeah, we, 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 we kind of need a Surf, and we kind of need a Whirlpool. I don't feel like giving uh, Lapras two, or, yeah, two uh, Whirlpools or two, uh, two HM moves right here. So, let's go right ahead and start surfing around right here and well look at this togepi or no not togepi but lapras nessie surfing and of course we're gonna get attacked by more pokemon right here now this place is a very good place to actually find yourself a specific dragon type pokemon and that guy happens to be dragonite or no, not dragonite but uh dratini and i think you can actually get yourself a dragon or a dragonair too it's just a little rare and you guys gotta, you have to have like a super rod just to, just for that situation. So let's see, that's actually the wrong one right here. Let's go right ahead and go right here, cause uh, we need a, we need a repel. We, we kind of don't want to, yeah, we kind of don't, we kind of don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. Now, they've changed it up just a tad bit right here in the Dragon's Den. Uh, one being right here, you can actually step onto this part right here, and it, there will be a sign saying Dragon Train. A shrine revering the dragon Pokemon said to have lived in the dragon's den. Huh. They don't say. Now, you won't find anything here yet. But, eventually, you will be, uh... Eventually, you will be going into the... Well, going into, uh... A little bit of a story mode right here. In order to battle and all that stuff. And, well, that will be for a very long time right here. Because I just checked out what we need to do for the next few episodes and yeah we got quite a few stuff right here so let's go right ahead and continue on there's another person right here so let's go ahead and battle this person you shouldn't be in here yeah what is it with these people just saying that we're i'm not allowed i am allowed so here we go take it on piper and she's coming out with her horsey and again still don't know why horsey or cedra are not dragon type pokemon even though they look the part they kind of do and this horsey is getting her butt kicked. And here comes the leer attack. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Doing it again, body slam. For the win. And just like that, we have win, or we have won another one. And here she's gonna be coming out with a Seedra. So let's go right ahead and use Fluff Bolt. And Fluff Bolt 
Let's get it for the win right here. Okay, Cedra, how's it going? It's been a while. You know, I could capture you, you know, later on, but no, I probably I probably have it like somewhere. I probably can get it somewhere else later. Okay, so here we go. Discharge for the win. And just like that, Cedra defeated. And we're getting some points for both Dark Side and Fluvolt. And let's continue on right here. Let's go straight for Fluvolt. And well, let's go right ahead and go for another discharge. Yes. Just for a little added measure right here. Look at that. Oh yes. That's right. Cedra defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, well, we almost get to level 38. Oh yikes! I lost. Yes, you did. Okay. All right. So let's see. You should probably take a take a look at all the singular stones right here, guys, because you will probably be finding some uh, hidden items right here. Now, let's go right ahead and move on ahead. So Nessie, please help us. And I see a double battle waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Fluffle. And Dark Side, yeah, I don't really trust this Pokemon right now. So let's go with Nessie right here, and uh, let's go, uh, let's go kick some butt, take some names right here, and just like that, they will find us. And well, stranger, who are you? Who am I? I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just a Pokemon trainer. And here we have two Dratinis. Again, be careful. Dratinis like to use uh, Thunder Wave and all that stuff. So yeah, now. The goal right here is try not to use Discharge because it will hit everybody, and I mean everybody. So here we go, Ice Beam, for the win. And this Stratini has been defeated. Yeah, buddy, alrighty. And well, let's see who's next. Hmm, no. Well, we got Twister. Alrighty. And just like that, Twister hits us both. So let's go right ahead and use the same moves. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so yeah, I kind of accidentally pressed the button right there to hit Nessie or to hit Flop Volt. Uh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah, this controller right here. I got a new controller, guys, and it's just like it is the worst. I need to break it in and everything. And well, there we go, Flop Volt getting its special uh, attack up. And yes, it's gonna hit our Nessie because well. Should have hit it with the ice beam and all that. So let's go right ahead and use another one right here. And no, not flood bolt. So let's go right ahead. And just like this. Alrighty. Not so effective, but still it does the job right here. And well, look at that. We get some more experience points. And just like that, ouchies. Meanie. That's right. Now, if you guys remember. Uh, let's see, you will be finding some other items right here, some pretty rare items. In Pokemon Gold and Silver, the goal right here was to find yourself the Dragon Scale or the Dragon Fang. I can't remember which one it was because, well, you know, I went to, I went to the titular one, the, the titular version of this whole thing, Pokemon Crystal. And speaking of Pokemon Crystal, you actually do have to pass the test of, you know, are you worthy enough and all that crud. It's the same thing right here, guys. And look at this, we're crossing this Whirlpool. And just like that, yes, we, we, we were crossing it. Now, before we enter the, the shrine right here, let's go right ahead. Yes, not press that. Let's go right ahead and go straight for another repel because we don't want to get attacked by no one right here. And let's see. There might be an item right here somewhere, I think. Could be wrong. You know, I, I do have a dowsing machine, so let's go right ahead and use the dowsing machine for the first time in like ever and let's see dowsing machine dowsing machine where are you oh there you are okay oh no that's the old rod again this new controller is driving me up the wall and there we go use and huh okay so that's what happens okay so you get to scan for it or hold on I'm gonna click this let's see there's my Huh, okay. I see. Huh. Okay, so... Huh. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, move on right here. 
And I'm gonna take my, my mouse away. And let's see, there is an item right there. And of course we're gonna get, you know, our pal's gonna worn out. And let's not do that. Let's go right ahead and go straight back over here. Repels, how's it going? And let's go right ahead and see this. And look at that, we found ourselves a Dragon Fang, which can't power up any kind of uh, dragon type moves. And uh, you know what, let's go right ahead and go use the, the, the dowsing machine. Got me all interested in stuff. Okay, so let's see, back to the mouse. Okay, so that, that that's pretty cool. There's nothing. Huh. There's nothing right there. Huh. What if I go right here? Huh. What if? Okay, so I really don't get this. Let's see. Right there? No, nothing. Okay, so enough of that. Let's go straight for... Yeah, let's go straight for the Dragon Shrine right here. So let's go ahead and... And, uh, wait, did I already use a repel? Probably not, I think. Uh, well, seriously. And, well, there's a max repel. And, okay, so it's already been used. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and go straight into the Dragon Shrine. Remember, we actually have to, you know, be worthy of winning the next badge. So, here we are entering, and I'm not pressing any buttons. And, look at this. Hmm. Good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you are you are to only answer a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? I'm gonna put, uh, let's go with uh, friends. That's right, they are my friends. What helps you win in battle? Training, that's right. I am a trainer. And let's see, oh, I understand. What kind of trainer, uh, what kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anyone. Anyone want the smoke? I got you here. And what is most important uh, for, for raising Pokemon? Right here, let's go with uh, let's go with love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon or weak Pokemon? Which one is important? The both, because yeah. Now, very commendable. That conviction is uh, what it is important. Draven, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. And just like that. You know, Claire, or, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever her name is. <laughs> she thinks we fall or we failed. What? You passed? That can't be. You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Approved, I should say. Wow, I'm, yeah, it's Claire. Holy crud. This child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? Please inform him. <laughs> I, I understand. Here. This is the rising badge. Hurry up and take it. Flipping you off, Claire. I am flipping you off. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so the rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use this move, uh, the move for climbing on waterfalls. Also, Pokemon will uh, will know you as a trainer to obey your every command without question. Oh, Claire. Reflect upon what it is that you lack and, and this child has. Da 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 da. <laughs> flipping you off, Claire. By the way, have you heard of Lugia? It is a Pokemon that has lived around World I Islands once. Never mind. Just mad words of the old. You don't say. And our mama is calling us. And our repel has gone off. Now, there is one more thing that we need to do. Uh, well, actually, two more things that we need to do. And yeah, I completely forgot about the mouse right there down the screen. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. And <laughs> let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so we got like what two things that we need to complete, and that is uh, yeah, she forgot to give us a TM and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go right ahead and cross this waterfall. And well, there we go. And what is the next thing right here? Let's go cross this water right here. And just like that, yes. We're getting the heck out of here. And Claire's waiting for us right there. Holy crud. And she's gonna be like, wait. I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. We get ourselves the TM-59. This is a powerful move. It contains Dragon Pulse. Well, Dragon Pulse is a kind of a, uh, never mind. 
This is huge energy energy of some kind. If you don't want it, don't uh, don't have or you don't have to take it. Uh, what what's the matter? If you are headed to the Pokemon League, go back to New Bark Town and surf along Route One or Route Twenty Seven. Your face. It's telling me you have something on some unfinished business. Come on. Whatever you have to face from now, you don't dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse uh, about having losing to you or having lost to you. Give it your all. You know, I'm just gonna give up just to make her feel bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, and uh, we got what? We got two more things still. We gotta get out, and we're gonna get a phone call from Professor Elm, and he's gonna be like, "Hello, Draven. How is it? Or how's it going? I've gotten a hold of something neat. Swing by the lab and pick it up. See you later." Okay. So we're gonna see each other later. Now, there is one little thing we need to do before we, you know, go back and grab a, you know, Master Ball and all that stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so after completing the whole uh, thing with uh, Claire, not giving you the, the rising badge and all that stuff, make sure to have a Pokemon or make sure have a sp uh, to have an empty spot on your Pokemon team because, well, you're gonna be needing it. So, after completing this whole thing, let's go back inside and talk to this guy again. And he's gonna be like, hmm, good to see you here. Your arrival is most fortunate. I have something for you. Take this Dratini as proof that I know your worth. Draven. Oh yeah, he received a uh, Dratini. Look at that. Now, this Dratini is pretty cool because it does actually know, um, what was it called? Uh, it does know uh, extreme speed. And yeah, we're gonna be nicknaming this Pokemon right here. So, let's see. What kind of Pokemon name will we give it? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Dratini. Dra 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 Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. We already have a Drago. Hmm. Dragle. We already have. I don't know. What kind of a nickname would be giving this Pokemon? Man, I could give it Toothless, but, you know, we already have a Toothless. You know what? Give me just a sec, guys. <laughs> It's a pretty lame name, but here we go, guys. Uh, here's the nickname that I think we're gonna give this Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna be giving. Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. We're gonna be giving this name, this guy, a nickname similar to Drago. We're gonna be giving this Pokemon Draco. So here we go, Drake, Draco. There we go. Say hello to Draco. And well, Dragon Pokemon are symbolic of our clan. You have shown that you can be entrusted with one. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. So as you guys can see, Draco is at level 15. This Pokemon is special though because this guy has extreme speed. It's a very, very powerful, uh, very powerful normal or, dra or normal type move, very physical. And as you guys can see, it's a physical attacks right there and all that crud. So yeah, we're gonna be good. And then everything else in between, look at that. Extreme speed, Thunder Wave, Twister, Dragon Rage, you know, the, the whole shebang. It's got everything. So, anywho, guys, let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. So, I'm going to be stepping outside just a little bit, and we're going to be going straight to to New Bark Town by flying. So, I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> Completely forgot about this, guys. So, after getting out of the Dragon's Den, it is currently Saturday, and, uh, well... Here we have Santos of Saturday. So he's saying, it's Saturday. I'm Santos of Saturday. Take this. And we got ourselves the soft sand, which will power up any kind of ground type moves. It's pretty cool. Very awesome. So yes, pretty good. Anywho, anywho, I will be right back with you guys. On the road again. We are back on the road, on the road again. Hey, look at that. We're back at New Bark Town. So here we go. Let's go right ahead and take care of this whole situation now. Apparently, we're getting a phone call. We got a phone call, I should say, from Professor Elm, and he has something special for us. And, well, there's our girlfriend, Lyra. She's like, Draven, did you already collect all eight badges? That's so cool. The Professor is waiting for you. Okay, all right, let's go, let's go. And Professor Elm's like, uh, hi, Draven. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. And, well, look at this. We got ourselves a Master Ball. And, well, the Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It catches, it can't, it'll catch any Pokemon without fail. 
It's only given to, or it's given only to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make a much better use of it than I can, Draven. By the way, we we just had a group of beautiful kimono girls looking for you. Really? You don't say. That's right. Draven, people are talking about you. I heard you helped the kimono girls. You've been helping all these people? You make me proud to be your friend. Uh, well, looks like I'm in the friend zone. Anywho, we have completed this task and whoa, 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 whoa hold on just a sec. Professor Ovis, like, the Kamana girls are waiting for you at the Equitech Dance Theater. Ah. So, yes, um, <laughs> yes, we, we, we got some stuff to do in the next episode, guys. A lot of legendary stuff before we go in straight to the Pokemon League. So, yeah. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Walkthrough. See you guys.